Hi, this is Kaveh, and in this episode, uh, I'm going to explain the difference between uh, MVVM architecture and MVA architecture in uh, Android world. Uh, I think uh, all of you be familiar with the MVVM architecture that uh, Google recommends it, and uh, uh, there, a lot, there are lots of uh, documents in uh, developers' uh, document and explanation about it. Uh, and in these past years, uh, I think uh, the Android community uh, use it a lot, and uh, I can uh, uh, skip the explanation about uh, MVVM architecture. But uh, I think uh, most of all, uh, not familiar with the uh, MVI architecture, so. Uh, first of all, uh, a little bit uh, explained about uh, MVI architecture specifically uh, that be f uh, familiar with it and compare the difference between uh, these two architecture. So, uh, as you remember in uh, MVVM architecture, uh, we have uh, three entity, model, view and view model. Uh, in um, model level, uh, I think MVI and MVVM um, is uh, the same uh, because uh, MVI uh, uh, in the MVI architecture also we have a model entity, a model layer we can say model view and intent. Uh, there is uh, the difference. Uh, model is the um, common concept in those uh, architecture. Uh, also, as you can see, uh, we can uh, uh, mix with uh, clean architecture and use domain layer and data layer as a model entity in uh, these two architecture. Uh, but in the presentation layer of clean architecture, we can implement MVVM style or MVI style uh, because uh, in this layer, uh, we must handle uh, the relation uh, between uh, view and view model or view and intent. So uh, we put aside the model uh, entity uh, and uh, in the uh, two top section, we have uh, we must handle the uh, view state and uh, the relation with the view and data. Uh, in the MVVM, we have a view model that uh, contains all uh, UI related data and do some um, business logic maybe but it's recommended to uh, come handle it in a repository layer, but uh, view model published the state uh, of the uh, UI and UI observed the state uh, in the uh, view, view model and respond uh, to uh, changes of this uh, state. Also, if you uh, click a button or uh, do something in UI, uh, you must call the uh, view model methods. Uh, I think uh, you must be familiar with view model dot do something, for example. Uh, but in MVI, uh, with as the uh, view model uh, be agnostic uh, about UI, the UI also be agnostic about uh, the view model, or uh, precisely, uh, I can say, uh, be more agnostic about the view model and implementation uh, in it. Uh, so in this scenario, uh, if a user uh, click a button, uh, you do not call the view model methods directly uh, you must uh, fire an intent or event that uh, this is the responsibility of the view model that handled this uh, event or intent that uh, fired by uh, ui screen for example uh, when the uh, user click the 
when the user click the uh, send button uh, you fire a uh, send user data with the uh, data of uh, user and uh, in view model uh, it's observed for all incoming uh, intent and uh, response to uh, response properly to the condition or uh, to the event that uh, comes and do something so uh, as you can see in this the uh, diagram uh, uh, I explained uh, the basics uh, according to this uh, insightful architect uh, article uh, and the next episode uh, I'm um, gonna uh, migrate a MVVM architecture app to MVI app and uh, you can see in practical how we can migrate it or uh, compare more deeply the difference between uh, these two architecture so we can pass it uh, as you can see view um, can be fragment activity composable function and etc it doesn't matter what is the ui also uh, you can use view model in the mvi it is okay because uh, MVI uh, just contains uh, view and intent in the top level, right? So uh, view uh, is uh, all view uh, also view uh, is common like model in these uh, two uh, architecture, but in MVVM it's uh, not specifically uh, forced you to how implement the uh, view model class or a state holder class in compose world uh, it's just say that uh, you must have a view model for uh, contains uh, all the uh, ui related data and do all uh, computational operation in view model not in view uh, but in uh, MVI, it's more uh, strictly that uh, force you to uh, hand to have uh, a single source of truth, uh, have a state, uh, the single uh, state, or multiple state. But uh, in the uh, one file, uh, we can say, and uh, it's a two-way data flow that. Uh, expose the data and uh, watch the user interaction <sighs> okay we can be continued uh, she said a uh, 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 sample project that uh, explained the implementation of an uh, MVI uh, architecture uh, as I can uh, as I say uh, you can uh, use a data and domain layer of clean architecture and this is recycle review it's not important so uh, we must have a uh, state uh, in this scenario uh, she used a sealed class as a state uh, it's okay to have a data class uh, you can uh, as you can see in uh, our uh, compose samples uh, Traditionally, we use a uh, data class or you can silk class. Uh, it doesn't matter. It's very really depend on your uh, code base structure. And uh, it's okay to be uh, anything. Uh, another difference between view model in MVI uh, realm and MVVM realm is... Uh, we can uh, notice that a state uh, be one object in MVI, mostly one object uh, in MVI and uh, in the traditional MVVM architecture. Uh, we can see uh, view model have different, uh, have several uh, live data object to uh, manage uh, a state of. Uh, different section of your screen uh, 
uh, also in the MVVM you can uh, merge all uh, live data into one live data uh, it's okay but uh, it's traditional <laughs> Uh, and uh, in this MVI, uh, in some scenario, you uh, must end up with a huge state, a god state, in the uh, complex UI or in the screens that contains several components like main screen, like um, dialog, and etc. And it's be okay to. Uh, slice the uh, state into two or three or even four uh, small states uh, it's very depend on your uh, code base and uh, this is not uh, a red line that you cannot cross that it's very important tip uh, architecture uh, uh, is here for helping us to uh, manage uh, better the code base so uh, we have an estate uh, we have uh, an uh, we have a, a coroutine channel for uh, handling intent uh, a screen uh, or fragment or activity uh, observe this uh, non-mutable one, immutable uh, version of the estate uh, because it's public, but mutable one is private. Also, uh, view can uh, insert an uh, intent, a main intent. Uh, type in the user intent uh, and this is uh, the view model job to uh, observe uh, the user intent uh, and collect it and respond to the incoming intent uh, as you can see call handle intent in the uh, init uh, block of view model and collect it uh, in the view model scope it's very important uh, to scoping these and uh, as you can see uh, yes this is a function fetch user and etc this is uh, our view model in mvi style and uh, this is factory not important not important and our ui in ui as you can see, uh, set up UI, set up view model, observe view model. I think this is uh, be more important. Uh, yes, observe view model. As you can see in uh, love uh, cycle scope, uh, it's launch a coroutine and uh, collect uh, the uh, state. Uh, state <laughs> naming is hard naming is hard uh, it's watch the estate and responds to uh, any update on estate uh, it can be idle be loading that gone or visible some uh, view stuff or showing the data and etc in the error state and so on this is one important point and at last uh, if you click anyone, anything, if you click anything, uh, you do not uh, call the uh, view model function. You must, uh, as you can see here, yes, as you can see here, it sent uh, an intent uh, to the user intent uh, of view model. And that's all. This is uh, an example for uh, MVI uh, architecture in Android world. Uh, as I mentioned in the next episode, uh, I'm gonna migrate an uh, MVVM sample app to MVI sample app to be with engage more uh, with the difference, with the best practices and etc. and see what can we do uh see you next time